The bees are dying out, and as they go extinct, they're taking everyone else with them. Since the 1980s, bees have been dying in threatening numbers, and no one is completely sure why. If the bees went extinct, it would be absolutely horrible. Your local supermarket would go from this to this, and most of the fruits and vegetables we like to eat would disappear. These include apples, onions, avocados, carrots, mangoes, lemons, limes, honey, well obviously, cantaloupe, zucchini, squash, eggplant, cucumbers, celery, green onions, cauliflower, leeks, bok choy, kale, broccoli, and pumpkins. Just one colony pollinates 4 square kilometers of fruit trees, makes 14 kilograms of honey, and contains 50,000 bees. All of the bees in the world make one-third of our food, make 6,000 tons of honey, and contribute $525 million to the economy. If the bees died out, we'll lose more than 2,000 species of edible plants, and we'll also lose many of the delicacies we get from the plants that I listed earlier, such as most of the varieties of pie, as well as coffee. Yes, we won't have coffee anymore if the bees disappear. Caffeine itself is also grown inside the coffee bean plant, which needs bees. But there are still a lot of people who don't drink coffee. So let's go on to my next point, the holiday season without bees. Starting with the bee-less Halloween. If the bees disappeared, we, as previously mentioned, wouldn't have pumpkins anymore. Okay, so no more jack-o'-lanterns. Okay, but we still have the usual skeletons and cheesy ghost decorations, so we could probably make it through. If only jack-o'-lanterns weren't so much of, you know, the literal symbol of Halloween, and the entire month of October itself. It's... well, think of this. Think of how the United States would react if their national animal, the bald eagle, went extinct. Now, let's move on to the next holiday, Thanksgiving. Don't worry, my non-American viewers, this will be brief. But the traditional Thanksgiving meals will be completely changed. If you think about it, if you remove the turkey and the chicken and duck if you serve your duckins, Thanksgiving is essentially the ultimate vegetarian meal. Here are some of the traditional Thanksgiving foods that we wouldn't have without bees. Stuffing, squash, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, sweet potatoes, pumpkin pie, nuts, apple pie, and cranberry sauce. Okay, so you probably understand how much we really need the bees, but why are they dying? Well, the main cause is because the crops they pollinate are often in farms and are dosed with pesticides to protect them from insects. Unfortunately, this includes the bees. Pesticides often only create stronger and tougher pests and kills beneficial insects, and often even kill the crops themselves. Now, my point in this video is that we need the bees to survive. Although crops such as wheat don't need bees, we need more than just wheat-based foods to live. We need all the vitamins from A to K, and we also need protein and calcium, which mostly come from animals, such as cows, which we won't be able to feed. So if all the bees died out, humanity would only have four years left to live. I'm just going to give you a few seconds to let that thought sink in. Welcome to the outro screen. As always, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If I missed something in this video or got something horribly wrong, please let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe. And remember that getting stung by a bee can hurt, but losing them all can hurt much more.